And if we don't understand where they are mentally, then we're not gonna be able to help them down the road. So it's very key. A lot of foot traffic walking through the Children's Mental Health Summit, the Canopy Children's Solutions 10th annual session. This year's theme is the ecology of a child. Right now we're facing a huge mental health crisis with children and youth. Um, we've seen significant increase in depression, anxiety, even suicidal thoughts. Shea Hutchins, the Chief Solutions Officer, says the organization is telling education and mental health professionals how family, finances, and school puts pressure on children. For parents to, if they see a change in their child's behavior, for teachers to know their students and know that when someone's withdrawn, um, it might be good to ask more questions. One of the main things that people talked about here the most is the importance of children getting enough sleep and how it affects their mental stability. I thought eight hours was enough, but by, for her age, it's up nine to 12 hours is needed for her to be alert and um, active, not have mood swings while she's at school. Yolanda Bronner Wooten is a director with Canopy Solutions and a mother of a six-year-old. She sat through a few sessions. She said this convention showed her ways she can better be there for her daughter. So I feel like once we're more involved, we're there, we're asking questions, we're noticing when a child is disconnected or when they're needing more from us, I feel like things will get better. Reporting from Floorwood, Brooklyn Joyner, 16 WAPT News. <laughs>